All right, people, today is day three of daily uploads. Easy topic today. Today we'll be talking about fleet building. Nothing you guys aren't familiar with already. Some of you are probably experts at this, and I'm pretty sure a good portion of you, or at least I hope so, of the people watching these videos are already good at that. But just in case, here's a little bit of reminder. Here's a little bit of tips, I guess, to give you guys an idea of how to fleet build. Now, this is not going to be a long video, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be posting probably pictures of personal fleets I'll be using for mobs or give you guys an idea of how to build stuff, explain how to do them, what they're good for, and stuff like that. But in the meantime, though, I'll be talking about um, the idea of how to fleet build for this content. Now, what I'm personally aiming for is two mobs and two boss. I think what a lot of people are thinking is three mobs and two uh, one boss, but I'm going to be doing two mob fleets and two boss fleets. What this means is I'm going for a uh, a backup boss fleet in case the first one doesn't do well, and two mobs should be more than enough nowadays because even one is probably more than enough. But just in case the harder content, I need the ammo because if you don't have ammo, you have you t um you do reduce damage. So having two mob fleets will be really really good. In terms of mob fleet, what will you be looking for? You'll be looking for sustain. Most of the time when you're building a mob fleet, you want sustain. Stuff that can heal, stuff that can shield, stuff that can offer utility to the whole fleet. And even more. Like, for example, I was talking about Tosa, Shinano, Casablanca, Perseus. Those ships can help the other fleets without even having to be in them. So those kind of supporting um, ships are very, very good for these kind of fleet builds for mobs. And you want wave clear. Wave clearing, this can be in all sorts of ships. You have ships that have barrages. You have carriers that have amazing damage output. Those two are usually the general ways of how to do amazing wave clear. Some examples are like Washington, um, Alabama, uh, Rosia. For carriers, we have like Centaur, Formi, um, Enterprise, Essex. A lot of good ships that does damage. That does a lot, a lot of AOE, a lot, a lot of wave clear. Because like I said before, you don't want to stay in a fight for too long. Because the longer you're in a fight for it, the more chances you have of taking damage. And if you have wave clear, the more you have, you have more damage coming out from your ships to the enemy. So that means you're probably going to clear this faster compared to a single target DPS ship. So wave clear is good. Lots and lots of wave clear. And lastly, you want some durability. Durability can be from many, many sources like uh, ship utility, like damage reduction, or building your auxiliaries to be accord accordingly, like more health, um, burn damage reduction. Even speed can be considered as durability because you're not um, you're out of the way most of the time when you're taking damage. So those are good choices. Also, consider what type of ships you're using for specific enemies. So if you're using like... Uh, <clears throat> If you're using like light cruisers or destroyers, be careful against um, high explosive enemies because they will probably roll you. So be very, very careful about that. Pick accordingly, build accordingly, and you should be good. Now, that's simple for bo uh, mobs. Let's talk boss. Boss, basically the same thing, but the only difference is that you want heavy, heavy single target damage. The reason why is because most boss fights nowadays, especially in a harder content, you want to kill it fast. And the reason why is because, just like I said before, those boss fights are meant to destroy you very, very fast. Nowadays, you'll be very lucky to find any boss fights that last longer than like one and a half minutes. Mainly because you're taking so much projectile damage, you either win or you lose within that time frame. So you want to kill it fast. The only scenario is where I could think of where fights last longer than one minute, like one and a half minutes, is EX fight, but you're mainly just dodging from memes. Like, I've, there's there's clips out there, there's videos out there of people doing a one Vanguard setup, and they're just dodging, like, left and right, taking no damage. That's different. In this content, you could probably do one Vanguard setup, but until there's enough practice, enough experience, that's not going to happen um, <laughs> for a while. But, again... Durability and damage are very, very important for boss fleet. You want to have your backline do heavy, heavy, heavy amounts of damage. You can have a support in your backline if you want to. I've done it before, 
But just know when you have one support in your backline, like say Illustrious or Perseus or Ryuho, that you're losing a bit of your damage because they don't do as much damage as another, another damage dealer would do. So you gotta be careful about that. And then your vanguards, you gotta be careful about that because they're not gonna have the sustain or the coverage from your backline to protect them. So you wanna make sure your vanguard is very, very durable. Hence why I said before, Jian is very good because she has that shield for protecting your vanguards when you don't have any other sustain from your backline. Very, very good choices. Now, I'm not gonna talk about submarines. Just throw some submarines on, guys, and you got free damage. Again, mob, boss, fleets, very, very easy, very, very simple, nothing too complex about them. I've listed a couple pictures of fleets I'm gonna use, a little something that you guys could probably do as well. Again, don't think of it too hard. Until we get more information and until I personally play the content, I can't really tell you guys how to properly build against specific fights and whatnot because I don't know the enemies that well until I actually do them. Anyways, that's it for this video. Easy day. See you guys tomorrow for day four.